Good morning and welcome to this week's Sunday service. Jo is working from home today and has claimed the caravan as her office. And so this week's service comes from the sofa. Let us pause for a moment in prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, we come to you, burdened by our insecurities and responsibilities. Sometimes we are not valued for what we are, but for what other people want to make us. But we know you love us for what and who we are, and this sets us free to be our fullest selves, disciples, following your way and learning from you. May we listen and learn together today. Amen. We sing our first hymn, New Every Morning. Peter will now bring us this week's Bible reading, followed by the talk. Good morning. Today's reading is taken from the Gospel according to St Luke, chapter 10, reading from verses 38 to 42. Jesus visits Martha and Mary. As Jesus and his disciples went on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha welcomed him in her home. She had a sister named Mary, who sat down at the feet of the Lord and listened to his teaching. Martha was upset over all the work she had to do. So she came and said, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to come and help me. The Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled over so many things, but just one is needed. Mary has chosen the right thing, and it will not be taken away from her. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the time of year when many of us are looking forward to our holiday. It's been a busy time 
and we just want to get away and have a break. Maybe go for a walk, lie on a sunbed, read a book, have a glass of wine. Not worry about getting up at a certain time the next day. Not have to worry about having to be somewhere to do something or to meet somebody. Just taking time out to relax, to recharge our batteries. In our Bible reading today, we read another familiar story of Mary and Martha. Jesus goes to visit. And whereas Martha is running around being the perfect hostess, Mary is sitting at Jesus' feet, listening to every word he has to say. Unsurprisingly, Martha gets frustrated. She's the one doing all the work. And my instinct would be to throw Mary a tea towel, say, come on, do a bit of washing up, help out, stop being so lazy. But Jesus says that Mary chose the better way because she chose to take time out, spend time with Jesus. When we read the Bible, to get what we've read in context, it's important to read what comes before and what comes after. Before this story, we know from last week, was the parable of the Good Samaritan, where we are encouraged to serve people, to seek ways of helping people, strangers, people outside our comfort zone. We are called into service, and Jesus says to each one of us, follow me. We are called into service, and we are called to work hard for the church and for the extension of God's kingdom. But to balance that out, like Mary, we need to spend time just to relax, relax rest in Jesus' presence. Have a holiday or a holy day, which is what the word comes from. And so as Christians, we are called to service. But as Christians, we're also called to relax and rest in the presence of Christ. Amen. We sing our next hymn, Seek Ye First the Kingdom of God.
in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ. Let us pray to the Father. Lord, there are so many needs of so many people in so many places. We remember now those seeking to lead our country. May they do so with justice, honesty and compassion, seeking an agenda for all and not just for themselves. May those who wish to lead listen to the needs and voices around them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Those in Ukraine facing uncertain futures, with the war seeming to be an ongoing crisis they are living through. And for those who have left family and friends behind and moved to neighbouring countries, including our own, may we, with others, listen to their stories and their anguish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the people of Sri Lanka, where seemingly the cost of living is daily forcing thousands into poverty way beyond our understanding. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the people of Afghanistan, whose freedoms and life choices are being daily eroded by a government who fails to listen to the voices of the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who fear the impacts of climate change, who are challenged by excessive heat and flood. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those in our own country who are hungry this day, may they find the kindness and support of neighbours and strangers, of food banks and more, to feed not just their bodies, but their minds and their souls. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For refugees, risking all they have left, life and limb, to escape to a country which is safer, more secure and more welcoming. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those seeking purpose and point in life, May someone listen to them and bring them to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those in dark places, may they see light and hear words of comfort and welcome and hospitality. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, these are our prayers this day. We offer them and ourselves knowing you hear our every word. Lord, hear us and bless those for whom we pray. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We now sit back and enjoy this week's gallery.
We won't be long now before we are watching more sports on television as uh, the Commonwealth Games start in a few weeks' time. And so let us thank God for the Commonwealth of Nations and let us pray that we will continue to work together for the good cause of peace and democracy within our world. Almighty God, by whose providence we are bound in fellowship as a commonwealth of nations, give us, we pray, such unity of heart that being joined as one in a common purpose of truth and love, justice and peace, we may be strong to further your holy will through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We sing our final hymn, At the Name of Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, send us out into the world, alert to whatever nudges us to hear your calling, or whatever points us in your way. Make us bold to resist those who would keep us in the comfortable, well-trodden paths, so that, like Mary, we can break free from time to time to sit at your feet. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.